Service Teardown HP 260 G4 Desktop Mini PC How to Replace the Access Panel Removal Note, the front bezel comes attached to the access panel and is not separately removable, replaceable. Loosen the T15 captive thumb screw on the rear of the chassis. Firmly slide the panel toward the front of the unit to disengage it from the chassis. Lift the panel off the chassis. Replacement Align the tabs with the slots in the chassis and lower the access panel into position on the chassis. Slide the panel toward the rear of the unit until the rear edge of the panel is flush against the rear of the chassis. Tighten the T15 captive thumb screw on the rear of the chassis. How to replace the 2.5 inch storage drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Swing the storage drive cage lever up to partially disconnect the storage drive from the adapter cable. Slide the storage drive away from the connector and lift it up and out of the cage. Replacement. Important. If you are replacing the storage drive, the mounting screws will need to be removed from the old storage drive and attached to the new storage drive. Align the mounting screws on the storage drive with the slots in the storage drive cage and lower the storage drive into position. Press the storage drive cage lever down while sliding the storage drive toward the connector until the storage drive is fully seated in the connector and the cage lever is closed. How to replace the storage drive cage before you begin, remove the access panel and 2.5 inch storage drive. Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the storage drive cable ZIF connector and disconnect the storage drive ribbon cable from the motherboard. Disconnect the storage drive fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the two 13mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the storage drive cage to the motherboard. Slide the storage drive cage toward the rear of the chassis to disengage it from the slots in the chassis. Lift the storage drive cage up and out of the chassis. Replacement Align the tabs on the storage drive cage with the slots in the chassis and lower the storage drive into position. Slide the storage drive cage towards the front of the chassis to secure it into the slots in the chassis. Replace the two 13mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the storage drive cage to the motherboard. Connect the storage drive fan cable into the connector on the motherboard. Insert the storage drive cable into the storage drive ZIF connector on the motherboard and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the storage drive cable Before you begin, remove the access panel. 2.5 inch storage drive and storage drive cage. Removal. Remove the two 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the storage drive cable to the storage drive cage. Slide the alignment pins on the storage drive cable out of the holes in the storage drive cage and guide the ribbon cable out of the cutout. Replacement. Guide the ribbon cable into the cutout and slide the alignment pins on the storage drive cable into the holes in the storage drive cage. Replace the two 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the storage drive cable to the storage drive cage. How to replace the memory module Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal Swing up the system fan. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the memory module into its slot on the motherboard. Press the memory module down to latch the arms. Swing down the system fan. How to replace the system fan? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the fan cable for later replacement. Remove the system fan cable from the routing channel on the heatsink. 
Swing up the system fan. Disconnect the system fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. Slide the system fan posts out of the cutouts in the chassis and heatsink and remove. Replacement. Slide the system fan posts into the slots in the chassis and heatsink. Connect the system fan cable into the connector on the motherboard. Swing down the system fan. Route the fan connector through the routing channel on the heatsink. How to replace the speaker. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Slide the rubber posts on the speaker out of the cutouts in the chassis and remove. Replacement. Slide the rubber posts on the speaker into the slots in the chassis. Connect the speaker cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the upper option board. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the option board cable from the connector on the option board. Remove the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the option board to the chassis. Lift the option board straight up and out of the chassis and remove. Replacement. Tow the tab on the option board into the slot in the chassis and place the option board into position. Replace the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the option board to the chassis. Connect the option board cable into the connector on the option board. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, and storage drive cage. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement. Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into the slot on the motherboard. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard. Reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless LAN antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade performance. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, and storage drive cage. Removal. Remove the 4 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement. Align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the solid state drive into its slot on the motherboard. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard. How to replace the CMOS battery. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, and storage drive cage. Removal. Carefully release the CMOS battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Carefully secure the CMOS battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. How to restore CMOS to factory settings. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, and storage drive cage. 
removal. Carefully release the CMOS battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Wait 30 seconds. Carefully secure the CMOS battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. CMOS factory settings are now reset. Important, you will now need to enter system BIOS and reset the clock in BIOS after this procedure. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, storage drive cage, and fan. Removal. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following three screws. Loosen the three captive T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the motherboard. Lift the heatsink off of the processor and slide it out from under the chassis edge. Replacement Using an alcohol swab, Carefully remove the thermal grease from the heatsink and processor. Apply new thermal grease to the processor. Inspect the thermal pads. If one is torn or otherwise damaged, it needs to be replaced. Tow the heatsink under the chassis edge. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the standoffs on the motherboard and place the heatsink into position. Tighten the three T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, storage drive cage, wireless LAN module, speaker, upper option board, M.2 solid state drive, lower option board, fan, heatsink, and CPU. Removal. Important. If a storage drive cage is installed, two 9mm T15 Torx head screws secure the motherboard in place. If no storage drive is present, then the three 13mm and one 9mm T15 Torx head screws secure the motherboard in place. This video demonstrates the second configuration. Remove the three 13mm and one 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Lift the front edge of the motherboard and guide the external connectors on the motherboard out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the motherboard. Note, before installing a new motherboard, remove the following from the old motherboard and install onto the new motherboard. Memory boards, CMOS battery, thermal pad. Replacement. At an angle, tow the external connectors on the rear edge of the motherboard into the cutouts in the chassis and lower it into position. Replace the one 9mm and three 13mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. How to replace the wireless antennas. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive, storage drive cage, wireless LAN module, speaker, upper option board, M.2 solid state drive, lower option board, fan, heatsink, CPU, and motherboard. Removal. Important, make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing clips on the chassis. Remove the four millimeter P1 Phillips head screw that secures the number two wireless antenna transceiver to the chassis. Slide the number two wireless antenna transceiver to the right to release the tabs from the cutouts in the chassis. Guide the number two wireless antenna cable out of the cutout in the chassis and remove. Remove the four millimeter P1 Phillips head screw that secures the number one wireless antenna transceiver to the chassis. Slide the number one wireless antenna transceiver to the right to release the tabs from the cutouts in the chassis. Guide the number one wireless antenna cable out of the cutout in the chassis and remove. Replacement. Guide the number one wireless antenna cable into the cutout in the chassis and use the retention clips on the wireless antenna transceiver to secure it to the chassis. Replace the four millimeter P1 Phillips head screw that secures the number one wireless antenna transceiver to the chassis. 
Guide the number two wireless antenna cable into the cutout in the chassis and use the retention clips on the wireless antenna transceiver to secure it to the chassis. Replace the four millimeter P1 Phillips head screw that secures the number two wireless antenna transceiver to the chassis. Guide the wireless antenna cables through the routing clips on the chassis 